Wiley Post was a very well-known aviator in the 1930s. Post started his career in aviation as the personal pilot for Mr. F.C. Hall of the Phillips Petroleum Company. Hall had his own private Lockheed Vega, which he named after his daughter, Winnie May. Post set so many speed records with the aircraft that Hall gave the aircraft to Post. With the Winnie May, Post started a whole career of long-distance flights and experimental flights. Starting in 1931, he, along with his navigator, Harold Gaddy, flew around the world in just a little over eight days, setting a new record. Two years after that, in July 1933, Post set out, this time by himself, flew around the world in seven days, one of the very first times that an autopilot was used in an airplane, which allowed him to be a lot quicker and a lot more accurate in the flight. In March 1935, Wiley Post took the Winnie Mae to a record altitude of 50,000 feet in an attempt to fly across the country in a record-setting time. Post was always interested in pushing the envelope of the performance of aircraft. He understood that aircraft fly faster and farther at higher altitude, so he actually had his engine supercharged and it was designed to fly at 50,000 feet. He was flying so high that the aircraft actually benefited from the jet stream, which was a phenomenon people did not know at the time. The problem is at 50,000 feet, the aircraft was unpressurized, and to solve that problem, he worked with the B.F. Goodrich Company to develop the world's first practical pressure suit. And with that pressure suit, he was able to set a speed record of 340 miles an hour, which is twice the top speed of a Vega normally. <laughs> 